hi guys how you doing i hope you all are fine um today in this video i'm going to discuss uh, how to create pages post and how we can make a gallery and contact us page in my last three videos i discussed on the vamp server installation wordpress installation and in my last video i discussed how we can install the themes so so far i guess you might have installed the theme and started using uh, theme option panel <laughs> so for here we will learn to create post pages uh, and gallery and contact us page so for that you need to come to your dashboard i am already logged in to my dashboard uh, we'll start with post so now click on post as you can see here you have already got a default wordpress post on your website let me show you Mm. here it is hello world all right now to create a new post you have to click on add new you can enter the title here mine is a coffee website so i'll write mocachino and from here you can add media click on it upload select cappuccino mm. wow i'm creating a mocachino post and adding cappuccino <laughs> not a big deal um here as you can see you have got this alignment section under alignment you have got left center right this is the alignment to of your image in the post if you want to keep it left you can select left if you want to keep it at the center you can choose center and the same way you can choose right right now i don't want any alignment so i let it remain none now link to if you want to link this image to a particular url okay to a media file or to a page or you want to link this image to some other url you can do that from here then you have got the size thumbnail medium large full size you can choose any of the size which you feel will look good on your website so for now i'm choosing medium and then click on insert post all right now we need to add some text to our post mm. this is mocachino uh, now here at the right section you can see categories uh, if you want to categorize your post under a section you can include a category from here so right now it is uncategorized so we need to create a new category for that click on add new and create a new category coffee add new so now our post is categorized under coffee then moving down you have got tags with tags what you can do is you can add some keywords related to the contents of your website okay um, if you are writing about coffee you can provide some tag like coffee mochaccino cappuccino whatever stuff uh, basically this helps with the ranking thing and all if somebody is searching for coffee and if you want your blog post to appear you know when that person search for coffee you can add some tags here that will help you for uh, with ranking and everything so if you want to provide a tag do that from here so uh, i'll add a tag here coffee mochaccino and click on add down here you have got feature image you might have seen those blogs with uh, image and some excerpt down it so that is basically the feature image so if you want to create a feature image you can set that from here uh, right now i'm not adding a feature image we'll go up and we'll directly publish okay where is it all right my post is published now click on view post whoa this is my post mocachino this is the title we have provided this is the image and here is the text this is mocachino the post is tagged with coffee mocachino uh, here you have got the category remember the category we added and this is posted by me coffee at the right shop here is the date and yet i haven't got any comments obviously <laughs> all right so this is how you can create a post now getting back to dashboard i'll show you how you can create a page for that click on pages you have already got two pages uh, sorry one page sample page okay the other one is the home page and this is the sample page now uh, to add a new page click on add new mm -hmm. mm. so what is the name we need to provide menu 
obviously the coffee shop needs some menu huh? add media if you want to add media you can do that from here but i don't want to add a media i just want to add some text so let's add the menu cold brew Mm, cafe latte, cappuccino, matcha, and cold coffee. I guess that will do. All right, mm, my menu is ready. Now here on the right side, you can see the page attributes. Under here, you have got parent. Uh, let me tell you what is parent. You might have seen uh, this certain. Um, navigation menus where you've got some drop downs under one section you have got the other section so if you want to keep your menu under sample page or because we have already got only one page over here so if you want to keep the menu under sample page you can click a uh, sample page as parent so when you will click sample page as parent your menu will be displayed under sample page all right i hope you got that template from here you can choose the template of how it will be displayed you have got these templates here default block page contact page full width and gallery page all right first i'll show you the full width page so i'll start with full width now coming here to order um, order is basically the order in which you want your pages to be visible in the website if you want the menu page first uh, you can give it the order one if you want the block page second you can give it the order two and this is how the order works right now we have already got only one sample page so obviously the next page what you're creating will come next to sample page um, basically by default the order in which you create the pages is the same order in which the pages are displayed so that is with the order again you have got set feature image which i don't want so what i'll do is i'll go to publish publish hmm all right my page is published now view page here you go you see this menu this is a full width page you have not got any sidebars over here only you have got the footer area so this is basically how you can uh, create a page with a full width template now moving back okay we'll create a block page for that go to add new give a heading and then from here you choose block page okay again no feature area no feature image and all and click on publish now view page you see this is our blog page. The uh, the post which we have made earlier, this is already displayed here. Makachino, hello world. These are the post, and this is our blog page. You have got this recent post, recent comments, archives, categories, and everything on the sidebar. And you might have seen how blog pages usually look. You know, you got a look of blog page like this. So this is how you can create pages with a blog page template now the next what we will discuss is how you can create a gallery for that again move to your dashboard okay and then go to pages add new and give a title of gallery hmm. now here we need to add media so upload files select mm -hmm. I'll insert it. All right. Again, you have got add media option. Select. I'll take latte. Insert. I'll add one more. And insert. Okay. So you have got these three images here. You can see. Now, from template, we will choose gallery page. Now click on publish. All right, our page is published. Now view page. And here is your gallery. You can click on every image. You can slide from here as well. See, this is your gallery page. You choose gallery template and this is how it looks. Now let's say you want to create a contact us page. For that, you need to get back to your dashboard again. Go to pages, 
add new and then we'll write contact us and from here under the page attributes template we will select contact page um, I'm not writing anything over here because I'll show you how it exactly looks now we will click on publish all right all right okay view page you see this is your contact us page you might have noticed you did not mention anything like name email or you did not create any boxes like that you know so this came when you chose the template so this is basically what is the benefit of template that you can choose any one of them and create pages accordingly and now let me show you the website our home page this is our home page okay this is our blog Mocachino. this is the feature image and then this is the menu we created mm -hmm. blog page gallery this is the gallery and this is the contact us page and I'm sure you're gonna love this <laughs> so if you have already installed the theme and you're familiar with the theme option panel now so you can try creating pages post gallery and you know play around with the templates and everything and in my next tutorial what I'll be showing you is how you can create custom menus and add widgets to your website so have a good day try this and thanks so much for watching this video